Welcome to Hiking Adventures with Mark Winfield. Today I'm in Crawford Notch in the Mount Washington Valley of the White Mountains of New Hampshire and I'm hiking the Mount Willard Trail. Patty and I have hiked this trail before but in the winter and we did it when there was a big storm blowing in which is pretty cool. You can see the video of that on my channel. I volunteer at the nearby Highland Center and what I do there is help people find hikes. And the Mount Willard Trail is probably the most popular hike in the area. Here's the train station. We start on the trail. Come to our first sign up here. And it's a short distance to the Mount Willard Trail. Now the, this is this route is also the access to uh, the Willie Range, Mount Tom and Avalon and Mount Willie. But I'm not going there today. The woods seem to be uh, damp. We had just a ton of rain here yesterday. Finished late yesterday afternoon, so the ground's wet. But it's fine. So I've arrived at a little intersection, there's a little kiosk there, and this well worn sign to the Willard Trail, and away I go. This intersection isn't well signed, and you can miss it. So it's your first left, and if you're at the kiosk, that's where you turn. And here to a little stream crossing. With the rain last night, there's more water than usual in the stream, so I'll have to pick my way across. And I'm heading over there. Nothing too serious. Safely across. Hiking poles, of course, makes that much easier. I've barely gotten past that first stream, and now I've got another stream crossing to do here. No big deal. It's a log going across. I may use that. The trail continues over there. Many of the trails in the White Mountains look like this. Where this is probably better than many. You've got a path, but you're stepping on and over rocks all the time. Roots as well. It's, it's the lay of the land here. You can see in here beside the trail, one of the streams that I crossed earlier, coming down the mountain. Taking a little spur off the trail, get a little look at the water rushing down in the stream. These trails have existed for a very long time here in the White Mountains. I don't know what the history of this particular one is, but it's certainly not new. And the Appalachian Mountain Club, who operate the Highland Center and a whole series of high mountain huts uh, here in the White Mountains, Mount Washington area, 
are uh, the people who maintain these trails. And as you can see here, then this trail's in very good condition. Now, some of the other trails are much rougher than this, but that's also the nature of how much they're used and where they are. But uh, very much appreciate their work. According to my watch, we're at, uh, or I'm at, so I'm hiking alone, 2,590 feet. I'm getting close to the top. My watch uh, is not GPS operated. It goes by atmospheric pressure, so I found it is pretty close to what a uh, GPS uh, measurement would be. And it's a great rig. It's a Casio. Mountaineer's watch and it's solar powered so I never have to worry about batteries. I always found the smart watches you know would be out of battery life after a full day of hiking so this is the second time I've done this hike. The first time Patty and I did this in January of course in the winter when there was lots of snow and actually when there was a storm blowing in and I remember this stretch here was just beautiful with the uh, snow filled trees and everything white the uh, you had to be careful though we had our uh, snowshoes packed across our uh, knapsacks and if you uh, strayed too close to one of the trees and bumped it you got showered with snow, which got your attention, but it was a really great hike, just like today is. I'm at 2,800 feet and getting close to the summit. It's very muggy today. It's fairly warm, but with all the rain yesterday and the moisture in the woods, it's very close. Here's a nasty blow down. I think it's been here for a while because there's a path beaten around this way. I can see the summit through the trees there. So just a few more steps. Welcome to the summit of Mount Willard. How nice is this? Fortunate today that we're underneath the clouds and that most of the mountains are also underneath the clouds. We were here in the winter, we didn't realize, because of course it's snow covered, that the summit was as wide as this. We were never over to this side of the summit. Gives you a different angle on things. So anyway, I'm here on the summit of Mount Willard in New Hampshire, 
And these nice people just came up uh, the mountain. Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Callian. I'm Kayla. I'm Hope. And this is Dupree. Hey. So why'd you come up the mountain today? Um, we were just looking for a fun trail to go on, and we saw pictures online, and it just looked really cool, so. Not too crazy of a hike either, so yeah. we're kind of out of shape, so. <laughs> well, you work up to that, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Well, you guys have a good hike. Thank, Thank you. you. And hike safe. After great views on the summit, I'm heading back down. And uh, certainly on trails like this, it's much easier going down than going up, though it wasn't a hard climb going up. Continuing on down, it's nice and comfortable. I've met a couple of people along the way and stopped and had conversations. And I'll talk to just about anybody and probably talk too much, but that's the way I am. I'm standing here at the edge of the trail, and when we were hiking uh, on the Presidential Traverse, one of the things we noticed is that the trees, you know, the blowdowns were cut by axe, just like this one was, and not uh, by chainsaw. Now, certainly on this trail, I've seen some uh, logs cut by chainsaw, but this one, for example, isn't. If you take a look, you can see, you know, the cut marks, and down below, there's some chips. So we wondered about that, and at the end of our hike of uh, Madison, we uh, hitched a ride with a fellow who was good enough to give us a drive back to the Highland Center, and uh, Jamie, I think his name was, and it turns out he's a uh, supervisor with, I guess, the National Forest Service. And what they do is he has a crew, or supervises multiple crews, I'm not sure, that go into the woods and clean up the trails. You know, the blowdowns and, and whatnot. And in the national parks. And he was explaining to us that in protected areas, I think is what he said, they're not allowed to use chainsaws. They can only use either axes or hand saws. And in this area, the uh, local crews, for some reason, don't like to use the, the hand saws. That would be the two-person saws. They uh, like to use a three-pound axe. And he was explaining us, to us the finer points of using the axe and making the cuts of big logs and so on, which was really neat. So, such is the way it is in the mountains. Continuing down, I can see I'm gonna be meeting some more hikers in a minute. But one of the nice things about today is there's no bugs. I can't believe it. And I don't even have bug dope on, there's just no bugs. I'm back at the Centennial Pool. I'm back at one of the two streams. So I've reached the uh, intersection down the trail there, not very far, is the train station. So I'm going to get my Garmin out and send my uh, message that I've finished my hike. And then head up to the Highland Center and get some lunch. Great day. This is a great hike, moderate in difficulty. I did it in three hours, but I stopped and talked to a lot of people. so. You could comfortably do it in two or two and a half hours. It's definitely family friendly and you certainly get great views for your effort. Hope to see you on the trail.